Pelajaran nomor 66 Saudara pendengar, hari ini kita akan mempelajari bagaimana menyatakan keperluan. Kata pertama yang akan kita pakai ialah need yang berarti memerlukan. Coba dengarkan contoh berikut ini. Don sedang memperbaiki mobilnya di garasi ketika Chris datang. What are you doing, Don? I'm working on the motor. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with it. Do you need a hand? What? Do you need any help? Yes, I do. First, I need a hammer. Artinya, pertama-tama saya memerlukan palu. Give me that hammer, will you, Chris? This one? <laughs> no, I need a bigger one. Here you are. Thanks. <sighs> no, it's too light. I need a bigger hammer. I know what you need. What? Oh, look at this stupid thing. I, I know what know. you What's need. Wrong? You need a new car. I don't need a new car. <laughs> And I don't need any advice. I just need a, a bigger hammer. <laughs> Coba dengarkan beberapa ungkapan yang mengandung kata need. Do you need a hand? Artinya, apakah saudara memerlukan pertolongan? Do you need a hand? Do you need any help? I need a hammer. You need a new car. I don't need a new car. I don't need any advice. Artinya, saya tidak memerlukan nasihat. I don't need any advice. Semua ungkapan tadi memakai kata need yang berarti memerlukan, diikuti oleh kata benda. Sekarang coba ucapkan contoh-contoh berikut. I need a hammer. Do you need a hand? Do you need any help? Baiklah. Berikut ini sebuah ungkapan lain yang serupa, yaitu need to, diikuti kata kerja, yang artinya perlu. Coba dengarkan. I need to fix this motor. What's the matter? It won't start. Do you need to change the spark plugs? Artinya, apakah saudara perlu mengganti businya? Do you need to change the spark plugs? Oh, let's see. Oh, they're okay. I don't need to change them. Oh, I don't know. Why don't you have a break? Good idea. Let's go inside. Oh, hang on. My hands are dirty. I need to wash them. Okay. I'll see you inside. Sekarang, coba dengarkan beberapa contoh. Dan perhatikan kata to di antara need dan kata kerja yang mengikutinya. I need to fix this motor. Do you need to change the spark plugs? I don't need to change them. I need to wash my hands. Coba saudara ucapkan contoh-contoh tadi sesudah Don dan Chris. Siap? I need to fix this motor. Do you need to change the spark plugs? I don't need to change them. I need to wash my hands. Bagus. Coba ulangi beberapa kalimat lagi dengan need to yang diikuti kata kerja. Siap, saudara-saudara? Don needs to have a rest. He needs to buy a new car. I don't need to buy a new car. We need to buy some food. I need to go to the shops. You need to go now. 
You need to go by bus. What's wrong with the car, Don? I don't know. Chris said we needed to buy a new one. We need to buy some other things first. Well, I have to go, Jane. Do you? Yes. I have to see Ewan before he leaves. He's going out with Geraldine. Who's Geraldine? She's a reporter. She interviewed Ewan about his life in Australia. Oh yes. Now I have to go. I have to see Ewan because I've got his batik tie. Let's see. Hmm. Very nice. He wants to show it to Geraldine. She's interested in Indonesia. Do you wear ties at uni? No. You're lucky. I have to wear a tie every day. Well, Ewan and I don't. He wears his batik tie on special occasions. Anyway, see you later. Saudara pendengar, suatu cara lain untuk menyatakan keperluan ialah dengan memakai kata have to diikuti oleh kata kerja. Coba dengarkan. I have to wash my hands. I have to I have to wash my hands. He has to wash his hands. He has to He has to wash his hands. I have to He has to. Coba ucapkan kalimat berikut sesudah Don. I have to wash my hands. Sekarang ucapkanlah sebuah contoh lagi sesudah Chris. He has to wash his hands. Kalimat tadi artinya sama dengan He needs to wash his hands. Sekarang mari kita berlatih. Saudara akan mendengar suatu kalimat dengan need to dan saudara hendaknya mengulangi kalimat tersebut tetapi mengganti need to dengan have to misalnya You need to fix the car Saudara hendaknya mengatakan You have to fix the car Nah, coba lakukan latihan berikut dan jangan lupa mengulangi jawaban yang betul sesudah Chris Siap saudara-saudara? They need to save money. They have to save money. He needs to fix his car. He has to fix his car. Jane needs to buy some groceries. Jane has to buy some groceries. Saudara pendengar, mari kita kembali pada percakapan antara Don dan Jane tadi. We can't buy a new car. We haven't got enough money. Well, we'll have to save some money. We'll have to put more money in the bank each week. How can we save money? Well, we'll have to be careful. You'll have to spend less money in future. I'll have to spend less money. <laughs> But I don't spend much money. What about you, Jane? Well, I have to buy all the groceries and the prices are very high, you know. I need to spend a lot of money on groceries. Okay. We'll have to be careful with our money. You will have to be careful and I'll have to be careful. By the way, that reporter Geraldine wrote a story about Ewan. Chris said it was in today's paper. Have we got the paper? No, we'll have to buy it. Dalam percakapan tadi, kita mendengar beberapa contoh dengan ungkapan have to yang dipakai dalam future tense. We'll have to save money. I'll have to be careful. You'll have to be careful. 
we'll have to buy a newspaper. Bentuknya sama dengan bentuk future tense dengan will diikuti oleh have to. We will have to save. Dalam percakapan sehari-hari menjadi we'll have to save. Coba dengarkan baik-baik bunyi elnya. We'll have to save. Sekarang coba ucapkan sesudah don. We'll have to save. Bagus. Coba ulangi beberapa contoh lagi. Siap, saudara-saudara? I'll have to be careful. You'll have to be careful. We'll have to buy a newspaper. Saudara pendengar, berikut ini beberapa latihan dengan memakai past tense. Coba dengarkan. Chris had to wear a tie at school. He had to leave. He had to see Ewan. He had to return Ewan's tie. Artinya, dia harus mengembalikan dasi Ewan. He had to return Ewan's tie. Pakailah kata had untuk mengganti has atau have. Jadi, he has to leave. Menjadi, he had to leave. They have to leave. Menjadi, They had to leave. Coba ucapkan sesudah Jane. They had to leave. Coba ulangi beberapa contoh lagi. Siap, saudara-saudara? Chris had to leave a few minutes ago. He had to see Ewan. They had to go out last night. Baiklah, saudara-saudara. Saudara pendengar, saat ini kita telah berada di pagi berikutnya. Don dan Jane baru saja bangun. Uh, oh, it's Sunday. I don't have to go to work. I don't have to rush. I don't have to wear a tie. I don't have to wear a suit. I don't have to do anything. Ah, oh, great. Karena hari ini adalah hari libur. Don tidak perlu mengerjakan hal-hal yang biasanya dilakukan pada hari kerja. Coba dengarkan lagi bentuk menyangkal seperti tadi. I don't have to go to work. I don't have to do anything. Kita hanya menjadikan have to negatif. I do not have to. I don't have to. Sedangkan bagian lain dari kalimatnya tetap sama. I don't have to go to work. I don't have to go to work. He doesn't have to go to work. Coba saudara terangkan mengenai Don. Apakah tadi saudara mengatakan? He doesn't have to go to work. Coba ucapkan lagi sesudah Jane. He doesn't have to go to work. Bagus. Sekarang mari kita berlatih. Don akan mengucapkan suatu kalimat, misalnya, I don't have to go to work. Saudara hendaknya mengubah kalimat itu menjadi kalimat tentang Don. He doesn't have to go to work. Coba ucapkan sesudah Jane. He doesn't have to go to work. Nah, coba saudara lakukan latihan berikut seperti tadi. Dan jangan lupa mengulangi jawaban yang betul sesudah Jane. Siap? I don't have to go out. He doesn't have to go out. I don't have to get up. He doesn't have to get up. I don't have to do anything. He doesn't have to do anything. We can go out. Let's go out somewhere. 
It's a beautiful day. What about the car? You haven't fixed it. Well, we don't have to go by car. We don't have to stay at home because the car isn't working. We can go by train. I'd like to go out. Well, you won't have to cook any meals today. I won't have to wash any dishes. You won't have to do any housework. Yes, let's go out. Coba dengarkan lagi beberapa dari kalimat-kalimat tadi. We don't have to stay at home. You won't have to cook. You won't have to do the housework. I won't have to wash any dishes. Kalimat terakhir tadi, I won't have to wash any dishes, berarti nanti saya tidak usah mencuci piring. Bentuk menyangkal dalam future tense mengikuti pedoman yang telah kita pelajari. I will not have to. I won't have to. I won't have to wash any dishes. Coba ulangi sesudah don. I won't have to wash any dishes. Saudara pendengar, berikut ini beberapa latihan lagi. Don atau Jane akan mengatakan suatu kalimat. Dan saudara harus mengubah kalimatnya menjadi kalimat tentang si pembicara dengan memakai he atau she. Misalnya, I won't have to wash any dishes. Saudara hendaknya mengatakan, He won't have to wash any dishes. Latihan ini cukup mudah. Jadi saudara tidak perlu mengulangi jawabannya. Siap saudara-saudara? I won't have to wash any dishes. I won't have to cook. I won't have to do the housework. I won't have to drive the car. I won't have to worry about the traffic. Apakah tadi saudara mengatakan he won't have to worry about the traffic? Coba ucapkan lagi sesudah Jane. He won't have to worry about the traffic. Nah, mari kita kembali lagi pada percakapan antara Don dan Jane. Well, that's a good idea, Don. Now is it going to be a fine day? What's the weather like? Well, at the moment it's fine. There are a few clouds. Do you think it'll rain? Do you think we need an umbrella? No, we won't have to take an umbrella. We don't have to worry about rain. It'll be a beautiful day, I'm sure. Saudara pendengar, saat ini Don dan Jane sedang bersiap-siap untuk berangkat. Well, I'll make some sandwiches and you get a bag, Don. We have to take a newspaper, some magazines, a hat, a coat, some fruit, a packet of biscuits, some chocolates, and let's see... Hang on, Jane. Do we have to? I beg your pardon? Do we have to? I mean, do we have to take a lot of food? And do we have to take magazines and a newspaper? And do we have to take coats and hats and so on? Well, you'll be hungry. We can buy something to eat. And the weather's fine. Don't worry. Saudara pendengar, coba dengarkan bentuk pertanyaan dengan ungkapan have to. Do we have to take a lot of food? Kalimat tadi adalah bentuknya yang lengkap. Tetapi ungkapan Do we have to? Do we have to? Lebih sering dipakai untuk menyatakan tidak setuju atas suatu kalimat yang memakai have to. We have to take some sandwiches. Do we have to? Don merasa 
Hal itu bukanlah suatu gagasan yang baik. Coba ucapkan sesudah Don. Do we have to? Dan jawaban singkat atas pertanyaan tadi ialah... Yes, we do. Atau... No, we don't. Kata do dipakai dalam pertanyaan. Do we have to? Dan juga dalam jawabannya. Yes, we do. Atau... No, we don't. Coba ulangi pertanyaannya. Do we have to? Dan ucapkanlah jawabannya. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Tanya jawab dalam tenses yang lain mengikuti pola yang sama. Coba dengarkan. Will we have to buy some tickets? Yes, we will. Did we have to see Chris? Yes, we did. Setiap kali, kata sama yang dipakai, baik dalam pertanyaan maupun dalam jawaban, yakni do, does, will, did. Sekarang, jawablah pertanyaan-pertanyaan berikut dengan ya secara singkat. Dan ulangilah jawaban yang betul sesudah Jane. Siap, saudara-saudara? Will we have to leave soon? Yes, we will. Did Chris have to go home? Yes, he did. Did they have to go to work? Yes, they did. Does she have to see E1? Yes, she does. Nah, saudara pendengar, berikut ini beberapa pertanyaan dengan kata tanya seperti when, where, how much, what time. Coba dengarkan apa yang dikatakan oleh Don dan Jane sementara mereka melihat jadwal. When do we have to leave? Where do we have to buy the tickets? How much will we have to pay? What time will we have to get to the station? Artinya, jam berapa kita harus sampai di stasiun? Why do we have to wait? Coba ucapkan pertanyaan-pertanyaan tadi sesudah Don dan Jane. Siap, saudara-saudara? When do we have to leave? Where do we have to buy the tickets? How much will we have to pay? Why do we have to wait? How long do we have to wait? Baiklah. Dan berikut ini beberapa pertanyaan lagi dengan who, which, what. Coba dengarkan. Who do I have to see? Which train do we have to get? What do you have to do? Sekarang, coba saudara ulangi. Who do I have to see? Which train do we have to get? What do you have to do? Saudara pendengar, Don dan Jane melakukan persiapan terakhir sementara mereka melihat jadwal. Let's see. When does the train go? What time do we have to get there? There's a train at 10.30. What time will we have to leave home? Well, we have to go to the station by bus. It's nine o'clock now. We'll have to leave in half an hour. Yes, we'll have to leave at half past nine. Nah, saudara-saudara, Don dan Jane telah tiba di stasiun kereta api. Mereka akan pergi ke Katumba, suatu kota di daerah pegunungan kira-kira 100 km dari Sydney. When do we have to get the train? At half past ten. Now, where do we have to go to buy the tickets? We have to find a ticket office. Oh, there's an inquiry counter. Good morning, sir. Good morning. We want two tickets, please. Where do you want to go, sir? To Katoomba. 
Well, you'll have to go over there, sir, to that window. Uh, just a minute. I'll have to put my glasses on. Uh, now, where do we have to go to? Over there, sir. Oh, yes, I see. Uh, thank you. How much do we have to pay for the tickets? I don't know. Two tickets, please, to Katoomba. Jadi, Don telah minta dua karcis. You can't get tickets here. You have to go over there. Ask that man over there. Who? Who do I have to ask? The man in the blue coat. Oh, yes. And which platform do we have to go to? That man will tell you. What's the matter, Don? What do you have to do? I have to see that man over there. Now, can I buy two tickets to Katoomba, please? Certainly, yes, sir. Good. We want to catch the train at 10.30. Well, you'll have to wait, sir. The train's late. What did he say? He said the train was late. He said we'd have to wait. How long? How long will we have to wait? I don't know. How long will we have to wait? About 20 minutes. Okay. There are your two tickets, sir. Thank you. Demikianlah, mereka harus menunggu 20 menit karena kereta api terlambat. Now I want to look at that newspaper. Ah, here we are. An Indonesian student in Australia. Oh, they've got a photograph of Iwan too. Doesn't he look nice? And you can see that batik tie. Look. Oh, very smart. We'll have to send a copy to Indonesia, to his parents. Now, what has Geraldine written? Let's see. She says he's a university student. Saudara pendengar, sudah tiba saatnya bagi kami untuk minta diri. Tetapi jangan lupa, bacalah bagian yang berjudul After the Broadcast dari pelajaran tadi. Dan pelajari juga bagian yang berjudul Before the Broadcast dari pelajaran nomor 67. Dan sekarang, goodbye listeners. Thank you.